When using OneSearch, start with Advanced Search so that you can use your NetID and password to sign in. Signing in gives you a little more access. It recognizes that you're a CSUB student and you'll have a few more options available to you. The Advanced Search defaults to search in everything. This includes physical books, databases, even books from other CSUs, so it can be a big search. Instead, try choosing either articles or books to start. Once you make your selection, you can put in your keyword and start searching. You'll see a list of results, which includes both physical books that you may need to request to pick up, or you'll also see eBooks, which are available electronically and you can access immediately. You can tell a physical book from an eBook right away because the eBook will have this term, online access, right underneath. Select an item to see a little more information about it and find out how you can access it. From here, you'll see a link to access the eBook. Or if it's a physical book, you'll see where it's located in the library and if it's available. Scrolling down just a little more and you'll find details about the content of the book. Or if you chose articles at the beginning of your search, you may see the article abstract here. Let's take a quick look at searching for articles instead of books. When you select articles, you're going to notice right away that the result list is much larger than when searching in books. You'll want to add a few more search terms so that your list isn't so overwhelming. Other ways to limit and refine your search are located on the side. You can limit to just peer-reviewed journals or other resource types. And you can also limit the date so that you're only finding the most recent articles on your topic. Select one of your articles and you'll see information just like in the books. OneSearch reaches out into all of our databases to find articles. And so the links here will push you out into that database where your article is located so that you can read it. So that's OneSearch. There's a lot more to it though. And you can find even more detailed tips about how to use it in the Using OneSearch guide located on the library homepage.